Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you how to raise a number to a power. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python in data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So for example, if we wanted to raise three to the third power, we would get 27. So let me show you how to do that. The easiest way to do it, honestly, this is really simple. We just say three times three times three, which is pretty much just breaking out the, the power into the multiplication equivalent and it's not the, the best solution for large powers. However, for small ones, it will work. And you can see we get the value 27. Now the operator to do this, rather than repeating ourselves, is actually to use two of the multiplication symbols, two of the asterisks, and then what to raise the number to. So three to the third power, and we get 27. So you can see two different ways to do that there. The first one is fine for small situations, you know, where we're raising something to the third power. But if you're going to, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh power, that's going to really quickly be pretty gross. So I don't really recommend that. And honestly, anytime you're raising something to a power, you should probably just go with this operator here. But the multiplication is a good way to, to think about it. So if we wanted to raise three to the fifth power, here's how we would do that, 243. So this is a common way to do it. I'm gonna show you another way you might see it, and that is using the math module. So we will say import math, and then we're going to say math.pow. And this takes two arguments, and you can see it says returns x to the power of y. So x is the first, y is the second. So we'll say three, five, and Let's just assign that to a variable like result and then print that variable like so. So running this, you can see we get 243.0. Notice these are technically different. That's because this one has the point zero and this one does not. We get the same result. It's just the type of data, this being an integer and this being a double. Right now, we really don't have to worry about that. It's not gonna cause any problems. So you can work with either one as is. Obviously you can use the floor method we've talked about if you want to get the integer version. So math.floor, pass in result. That's going to be the new version, which we could print here. Printing that, you can see we get 243 without the decimal. However, not a huge need. Oh, Claire, I'm, I'm a slap a noob, I tell you what. Well, enough about that freak bag. Let's get back to what we were doing. That's the end of the power video. Up next, we are going to review everything we've talked about and just go through our reference guide that I created and just make sure everything is solid in your brain before we move on to the next section. So check out that video and just measure how you feel. If, if it's all really simple and you got this down, then you can move on. Otherwise, it'll be a good video for you to just review and get up to speed. So check it out. I'll see you then.